And welcome back to The Watchman, only right here on TBN. We're talking to Pastor John Hagee, Rabbi Arya Scheinberg. And gentlemen, I think for the folks watching at home, they say, wow, this is very interesting to have a pastor and a rabbi, such good friends, such kindred spirits. So when you're together, what, what do you guys talk about? Do you talk about the theology, talk about uh, Israel's place in the Bible, or are these the kind of things you talk about, or you just talk about your families, just normal things? Well, uh, sometimes we do all of that. Many times there are times I will call him and say, what does the Hebrew really mean in this particular setting? And we, we have a theological discussion about what uh, the, the biblical text Ac actually means. On one occasion I asked him, why do the letters in Hebrew leap so high off the page? And he said, because between the letters is the fire of God. It is the living Word of God. That's why you read it on one day and it has a meaning to you, and you read it a week later, it has a different meaning for you because it is a book that reads you you don't read the book. It meets your need every time you open it. Those are the kind of things we talk about. Well, wow. I wish I was a fly on the wall, gentlemen, in those conversations. Uh, Rabbi, what has that meant to you, too, from a theological perspective, to, to speak to pastor about these kinds of issues? It must be fun for you, too. Sure. And also, and when we could look at prophecy come alive today. And so um, when we could discuss whether it's, it's Isaiah and, uh, or Jeremiah and, or Ezekiel and, and discuss the, the, the living word of, of God as we see it today. It's not uh, all world, business. The world sees Pastor as, as, the, as this uh, great orator and a person of strength and courage. And, and from time to time, I, I have this opportunity to see Pastor as the family person, as the sensitive person, as the caring person, as the loving person. We have this special bond that you two men have forged together. It's, been, it's caused really a mighty move of God yes, uh, in Kufi. Why now today in these Bible times we're living in, where we're seeing prophecy fulfilled, why is it so important for this particular moment in time to have Christians and Jews together like they are now? I didn't see the global threat uh, to Israel until Ahmadinejad started saying that Israel should be wiped off the map. And then when I saw how the leadership of the United States of America began to give so much help to Iran that was a terrorist state and taking plane loads of money, uh, then those plane, that those millions of dollars were given to terrorist organizations. Uh, that, this was something that was in the process, but early on when I heard Ahmadinejad say he was going to uh, wipe Israel off the map, I knew something had to be done and I knew that I had a television base, that I'd been on television then for 30 some years, that I had a great relationship with the major evangelical leaders in America. And I said, why not? And I made five phone calls to five leaders and said, what do you think about this? And the all five said, do it and let's go. We did it and I mean it took off like a rocket because God was behind it. What has been done is to the glory and to the honor of God. Yes, God has used human flesh, but the way this thing has taken off, Christians united for Israel and swept across this nation like a prairie fire driven by a high wind is only something God could have done. To have a friend like Pastor, we don't have many friends. We have, in fact, very few friends. And, uh, but we have a lot of enemies. And uh, we have enemies throughout Europe, tremendous anti-Semitism, Sometimes I think even in our own State Department here, we have some enemies. And sometimes I think of it even in, in the administration, we don't have too many friends. But we do, and, uh, and Israel is under the gun. Existentially, they, they're being threatened every day. So, but we do have a friend and, and uh, and we have, a, and we have, a, and that friend has been able to communicate 
as we say, to 3,200,000 now, growing and growing and growing. So it, it, it's extremely important both to, for Jews to know that there is this Christian support, but also it, it translates. It translates into political support, economic support, spiritual support of the Jewish people throughout the world and of Israel, particularly Israel. So it's, it's vital, and, it, and it's vital, I believe, to the world because they have to hear the truth. The world today is upside down. They can't distinguish between truth and lies. And Pastor speaks it as it is. Gentlemen, this has been such a pleasure. Now, after the break, we're in our beautiful set here in San Antonio. But folks, after the break, we're going to journey to someplace very special for Pastor, for Rabbi, great significance for their relationship. And certainly for you sitting at home, you won't want to miss the conclusion of our great conversation with Pastor John Hagee, Rabbi Arya Scheinberg, in a very special place. Trust me, after the break, it's the Watchman. It's Christians United for Israel, only right here on TBN. And you see the information on your screen, folks. Go to our website, cufi.org, call the number, and join this mighty move of God that you're hearing about today. Stick around.